Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you um, a solution to a problem um, um, for those who's uh, installing uh, um, the virtual box um, and you basically face this type of problem. It says no bootable and um, um, like for example I'm having right here um, Just bear with me a second right here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see what we're going to come up with. So it says right there, enable to boot. Please use a kernel appropriate for your uh, CPU. Those who are having a problem uh, like this, it's easy to fix. I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, just go ahead and exit out of your um, um, machine. And go back to your uh, settings. Click on your settings right here. Um, go back to your system right here and uh, click on your processor right here. Just follow your steps, please, okay? And uh, see this one right here where it says extended features? Go ahead and click on it says enable, okay? All right, go ahead and save. Just hit okay double save basically okay just hit okay and now go ahead and restart just hit start okay all right let's go ahead and see what we're gonna come up with It's going to take a few uh, minutes, maybe more. As you see, it's basically working. It's not giving me the same message that I got before. Okay, don't worry about the. as you see right here all right now you can just go ahead and start um, uh, following up um, continue on your um, installation just follow the instruction as it's appear on your screen i'm gonna go ahead and select english that's just the the, the just want to show you how to solve that problem and of course you can go ahead and uh, finish the installation just follow the the instruction if you have any problem just basically uh, send me uh, uh, the question um, um, thank you so much mm.